Thanks for coming girls, to the Swartzman College Women in Leadership Conference. I'm Eileen Tam, a Swartzman Scholar from Greater China. Let's give a warm welcome to our guest tonight. Today we are fortunate enough to hear from women who have flourished in their respective fields. And the time has come, as Limo, Marie and Julie have rightly implied, to reframe the gender issue. We need women sitting at the table discussing all the issues of society. It's, it's, it's very strange. We kind of artificially build our kind of society in a certain way. Malou's rise on Wall Street has been exponential. She joined Goldman Sachs in 2003, and in nine short years, she was named partner. That is a fit on Wall Street, a, a, an industry that is often seen as a preserve of men. Um, I don't know any of the research really about women and women leaders. I really, really don't. Like once in a while, I stumble over a piece of research, an article, I get to listen to Julie talk about like what smart people have decided is the truth about gender equality and what can be done about it. So I don't really have anything to add, to be honest. The only thing I can add is having sat at the table for years, still sitting at the table, and just observing people and observing women coming through the workforce. And you just pick up on little things where you're like, damn, if she just would have done that differently, that whole meeting would have entirely changed. Her career would have changed. So what I thought would be helpful is, I'm sure there are a lot of hurdles and obstacles, but I just want to focus on what you can do differently. Like every single one of you, to try and change that pipeline as we move forward. Because all of you guys, I promise you, you will have to change if you want to succeed. Because let me tell you this, just like Julie mentioned, the educational gap has narrowed. So in other words, women are doing really, really, really well in school. So for whatever reason, women just excel at school. So why do women excel at school? It's because it's transparent. The teacher will tell you, you need to read the following materials, you need to know it really, really well, and then you go on Monday, March 20th, and you take an exam and you get a grade. Women are really, really good when there are clear rules. The unfortunate part is, if you're going to make it in the corporate world or in government, it is anything but transparent. There are no rules. It's the Wild West. And women really struggle in the Wild West. It's really, really hard. So I'm going to give you a couple of things to think about and work on. And I'm going to stereotype everything. So I'm sure I'm going to offend all of you. And I might or might not be relevant to the guys. But just think about this. I'm just sharing my humble opinion, my humble observations, not as an expert, but just someone who lived every day on a trading floor, packed with men, and somehow have managed, through luck or otherwise, to be among the 1% of partners at Goldman Sachs on the trading floor. So, let me also just mention that I've also put special thought into it because I just want to mention as well that I'm the mother of three girls. So as the mother of three girls, of course I need to think about how I want to raise my daughters and set them up in a world that is changing and again with the spirit of, of closing a gender uh, inequality gap. So.